Penang Hill is one of Georgetown's magnificent icons. A hill in the middle of the city, the Penang Hill is more than just an ordinary hill. The oldest British hill station in Southeast Asia. Penang Hill is not one hill, but a range of hills. Most of its peaks stand taller than 700 meters. Penang's founding in 1786 entailed a flagstaff on its main peak as a signal station in the 18th century, linked to Fort Cornwallis in Georgetown. This peak was dubbed as Flagstaff Hill, and this gave rise to its Malay name, Bukit Bandera. Today, Flagstaff Hill is the most developed part of the hill. A hill resort for over 200 years, Penang Hill houses a total of 52 bungalows. This house was built in 1925. Most of the things you see here, the tile, the knobs, flooring, they're all original. So I've been here for 20 years. I mean, I've enjoyed this place. I know it's heaven for me. It's because of the tranquility, the nature, and uh, the feeling of being away from it all. And yet, you're only about 15 minutes from the city. Mama, where in the world can you find a place like this? The oldest bungalow is the governor's house, built in the late 18th century, known as Bel Retiro. While most were built as convalescing places by the British to escape the hot and humid weather, some were statements of wealth and status of prosperous settlers. The Crag Hotel marked one of the earliest and most significant structures. Constructed in the 19th century, it was turned into a luxurious hill resort in 1888. Its operation ceased, unfortunately, in 1954. It breathed new life when Upland School, a boarding school for children between the ages of 5 to 13, run by a planters' organization, made it their new home in 1955. The crag stood abandoned in 1977 when Uplands moved off the hill and had since become an ideal location for film sets. Today, Bellevue is the only hotel in Penang Hill. Well, Bellevue was actually the original name of the bungalow when it was owned by the first owner, which was Thomas Halliburton, who was the first sheriff of Penang. So, in fact, this part of the hill was called Halliburton's Hill. And it was perpetuated in a lot of historic paintings. We are a somewhat unique heritage hotel. Apart from the views, the panoramic views of Bellevue, which I think is its major attraction, because it sits on a promontory with a 270-degree view that you can see beyond Crack Hotel to Gunung Jirai, Keta Peak. You can see the town, you can see the bridge, and so on. But they will discover the special things about this place, including our special botanical collection. For example, probably not many people know that the first pine tree of Malaysia was discovered on Penang Hill. And you can find it in the gardens of Bellevue and also in other parts of the hill. It's a plant called Decredium elatum. People should regard this as their nature uh, conservation area. And it's there to be discovered. And there's still, despite all the botanical discoveries, there may be still new plants to be found. Penang Hill sits on a 130 million year old virgin rainforest. Its rich flora and fauna enchant nature lovers with alluring sights to explore. It is also home to various endemic and exotic plants imported since the late 18th century.
The Habitat is a recent eco-park featuring canopy walkways and bridges, captivating visitors with panoramic views of the dense forest. Enthusiastic volunteers also initiate the nature walk groups to showcase the hill's natural heritage. The things that initiate us to really do the nature walk is that we want people to come up to Penang Hill, see the real thing that Penang Hill has. What are the real things that Penang Hill can offer? I can tell you there are a few hundred sort of herbs all over the hill. So while walking, we actually share with them what are the herbs, the use of the herbs. Now, along the trail itself, there are also some of these heritage buildings that we have. They are up here, they are, they are not sure what is the Bell Vitario Bungalow and the Bell Vitario Gatehouse. They also, they always mistaken the gatehouse as that building itself. Actually, the building is right inside, that's just the gate. So these are things that we are able to share with the visitors. Sometimes when I take these people into the forest, I'll tell that they can feel the natural aircon <laughs> of the hill. Shaded by its own pristine rainforest, the hill is also Penang's very own water catchment pool. Penang Hill's well-developed system of roads link visitors to different parts of the hill. In the past, ponies and coolies were hired to access the hill. Today, many of these well-maintained paths have become popular hiking trails. Okay, we are going by the Bat Cave Bay. We'll head towards the Stupa, then we'll go to the middle station. It takes around one and a half hour to two to reach the top. And as you pass through different routes along the way, you can actually see different things. Now it's the fruit season. You can also have fruits, trees and everything you can have. There are myriads of trails in Penang, namely Moongate Trail, the Jeep Track Trail, the Bat Cave Trail, the High Cat Estate Trail, and trails originating from the Aitam Dam. But the trail I like most is the Heritage Trail. From the arch of the Heritage Trail, there is about 1,421 steps to the middle station. Subsequently, a cemented path or jungle path, whereby it will lead right up to Penang Hill. Now we have the luxury of uh, when we reach the top, we can always take the train down and that saves our knees. That is the beauty of hiking up in a hill and coming down by train. The year 2011 witnessed the dawn of the hill's current train service, a fourth generation funicular train. Demands for a train service to the summit began in 1897 when Penang celebrated the Diamond Jubilee of Queen Victoria. Nevertheless, it was not until October 1923 that the first train service commenced. The railway's design marked a unique complementation of the hill's steep gradients. This engineering feat earned its architect and engineer, A.R. Johnson, the Webb Prize by the world-renowned Institution of Civil Engineers. The hill's fascinating heritage have also attracted visitors from different parts of the world and all walks of life. More recently, it welcomed the Princess of Thailand, Her Royal Highness Maha Chakri Sirindorn.
Today, the hill's main communities consist of government workers in charge of maintenance and bungalow caretakers who lived on the hill for generations. I mean, the caretakers, the husband will be doing the cook and the housewife will be the housemaid. And the children have to be with the family, so they were given a quarters to stay. Most of my friends, they were Chinese friends who are caretakers, and that is how I happened to speak in Chinese, because we were together, we worked together. Having witnessed its transformation for nearly 80 years, Madam Guy is a living history of the hill. She now operates a drink stall with her daughter on the hill. Despite the challenges of floods and landslides in November 2017, the Penang Hill continues to stand tall and strives to preserve the harmonization of its natural heritage. When you come to Penang Hill, it's as though you walk in the time tunnel. It has a wonderful mixture of long and glorious history. You have a natural heritage plus the cultural heritage where people live here for more than four generations. Just come to Penang Hill, see the nature and feel the history. Penang Hill is the pride of all Penang people and Penang people just enjoy the hill and that's why we will try to apply Penang Hill to be a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve so that it would be kept that way for all to enjoy now and for the future generation. If you spare the effort and time and you'll find treasures upon treasures uncovering before your eyes and I think you will enjoy and you will love Penang Hill. From the first hill station in Malaysia to the hill resort today, Penang Hill yields a special place in the hearts of many and remains a unique venue where memories are made and celebrated.